I've never played uh, a stadium of more than, I don't know, 20,000, let alone 80,000. I, I mean, I, I really hope I do score if I play because I want to, I think, I, I don't know what celebration I'll do, but it'll be definitely something big. It's pretty special, I'd never done that walk before. I've always wondered where the players go when they arrive at Twickenham. And the boys who have done big games before and did the final in 2012 had told us, like, we do this big walk and with all the fans, basically. And I, I got pretty emotional even before the game because I, it's just something I've always dreamed of, to have like people like cheering, like cheering you on in a big way. And I, I'd only played in a COVID scenario, basically, with no crowd, so to experience that, um, at 20 years old and then come in and walk through these doors. I'd never been in the changing rooms before and uh, just took it all in really and then I had to focus on the game. <laughs> Even though there was 10,000 people here, it was so loud, like nothing I'd experienced before. And, but I remember when we started to walk out, I remember that was when my chest was like pounding and it just I was trying to focus, but, it's just that, but I was moving around so much trying to keep <laughs> Keep, me, keep my excitement down, but I think it worked pretty well for us. It's our home away from home, basically. I mean, it's only a five minute walk away, so that's so handy. We treat this effectively as a home game. And we know, basically, when we come here, all the fans are for us, and we got to put on a show. And I think, I think, like I said, we didn't really need any reminders. We knew how big the occasion was, especially at the final, but I think everyone's professional enough and everyone wants to win and everyone knows that to do that you can't get carried away with the situation you just do your job at, like it was any other game like you were playing and against all odds having been down and out in january harlequins are champions in june the champagne was going everywhere and i yeah it was pretty, <laughs> i just yeah it was quite a surreal moment it kind of went by in a flash and then we were back over at the stoop with the family but uh, I would love to experience it again and hopefully do it again this year. I should have brought the ski goggles like Dees did because um, I'd always thought like what if we did win what the celebration would be like and I, I just I, even though I expected it, it was still much more grander than I, I, I thought. To be able to share it with boys I've played with since I was young to boys I've admired for, for since I was 13, since I was a boy is um, this dream come true really. Last time I was here, it was a pretty am amazing moment, surreal moment. I'm just looking forward to doing, making more memories as we go. There wasn't much on, it was basically me and Marcus, and I just ran hard to try and support him, and I managed to break through. You know? I, I, I've, always wondered, I've always dreamt about like, what would happen if I was to run in at Twickenham with a massive crowd. The way people celebrate, I think the second try was much better and um, I really hope I can do it again basically. The reason it's called Big Game is because no one else has a game like this. We've been doing it for 13 years now and to have a sellout crowd at Twickenham each time just shows the level of support and the entertainment we bring and I think hopefully be able to play in my first one it will be a huge honour and to be able to play in front of so many, so many people and hopefully get a good win. On the field, when the full-time whistle went, I, I generally that was blur. I, I, I think I, several of us were breaking down and crying, and then all the guys from the top stand came down and were on the pitch. And I, people I've played with since I was 13, like Lennox and George Ham and Sam Riley, they were all there and like got crying, and like it was just such an emotional thing to be a part of. And then when I came here and saw my um, family and girlfriend and all my mates as well, it's just like. I, like I'm sure that there's a video of me and my dad hugging, hugging and that wasn't just for show, it was all like true emotion and just, I, I, I don't have the words to describe it really, it was just, you ha I had to, if I could rep replay that moment again and just watch from the stands and the tries and then the celebration after, I would, I would happily do it a hundred times over. It's pretty special to have your dad then saying all this stuff to you for what he's achieved as well, what he achieved on this ground. Uh, for him to say that is his proudest moment of his life, I think it's pretty... Um, I don't think it will get better than that. Not a lot of people get the opportunity to play at a club level in a stadium like this anywhere in the world, so I'm incredibly fortunate, we're incredibly fortunate, and that's why when we come out and play we've got to keep that in mind and put on a show.